Now we will start designing our first PCB. And first of all, we have to import all components in the schematics into the PCB. So these are the components that we have in the schematics. And here in the PCB doc, we can import them by clicking design import changes from my project. Now, these are all the changes. First of all, this is called engineering change order or eco. And in this eco, we have changes like adding all the components, then adding the nets to the pins of components, adding components to the class, and finally adding rooms. What is each? I will briefly explain later. So I can click validate changes, which would just validate if everything is okay. Now the components can be added, but then these are all showing failure because there are no components added and therefore it cannot add the nets. So I have to execute these changes first. I will execute the changes. Now everything went smoothly because components were added, then the nets was added, then these components were added to the component class and finally the room. Okay, so what do we get? We get the room and all the components inside. Well, what is the room? I can show you quickly. It's actually a object that uh, surrounds all the components that are belonging to the same schematics. Now, this schematics is only one, so every, every components, all the components are in the same room. And we will talk about rooms somewhere later, but now we don't need it, so I will just delete it. And the rooms can be also annoying. If I now import changes again, the Altium will find out that I deleted the room, so it will import it again. And now you see everything is green. If the components are green, if you look very, very closely, you see these are these crosses. So actually something is wrong. They are showing errors. Now, why? what's the error? This room is not, uh, uh, it's not around the components. So components which are belonging to the room are actually outside this room, as you see here. But I will delete the room again and no problem is now. So what to do? If you want to avoid these rooms, you can go to the uh, project options and you can select class generation tab. And in this tab, you can select gener gener generate rooms. Actually, you can untick gener generate rooms and therefore the rooms will not be generated next time. So now the rooms are un unchecked and I can import changes again and no changes have been made. So now we will continue with component placement in the next video.